This is my second visit to Doha in my capacity as Secretary General of Interpol. And the hospitality experienced is a reminder of the known generosity of our hosts. Your Excellency, Mr. Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, Interpol thanks Qatar for hosting with such detail and perfection this first of its kind conference for international police cooperation. Indeed, as this event begins, let us reflect on the reasons for such a conference to be called for. Why is it so that security of attendees is a key consideration in preparing all major events such as this one? Because of the harsh realities in our operating environment the world over. Time and again, organized and cyber-enabled criminality and terrorism have targeted large gatherings of civilians. Besides causing heavy damage to public and private resources at major events, innocent lives have been lost. From a law enforcement perspective, I must highlight that, that the matter at hand is a complex one. Grave threats of terror, such as those issued a fortnight ago by ISIL Daesh against the FIFA World Cup in Russia next year, need to be objectively monitored. Similarly, as for other domains of challenge for police, the cyberspace requires a concerted effort spanning both and sectors. Some years ago, Interpol had realized that there is very often a transnational dimension to crime when it strikes major events. And thus, to counter it, police needed to make use of existing linkages across borders. To this purpose, Interpol put forward its existing platform to bring together law enforcement expertise from around the world on countering threats to major events. Some capabilities had existed at Interpol for years, such as its major event support team deployment, while some others needed to be developed. In essence, it was time for Interpol to innovate. At the, the same time, the state of Qatar was advancing its preparations towards hosting the FIFA World Cup 2022. Certainly, securing such an event from criminal threats is a high priority for the host country. A common need was th thus identified in establishing Interpol Project Stadia to help member countries with policing and security arrangements at major sporting events. Initiated in 2012, in partnership with Qatar, Project Stadia had a clear aim for creating a center of excellence that would assist law enforcement worldwide. Through the project, over the past five years, ample interaction at an expert level has contributed to the development of a knowledge management system for Interpol's membership. And to address the wide-ranging threats to major events, Project Stadia has been designed to work with all three of Interpol's global programs on counterterrorism, cybercrime, and organized and emerging crimes. Importantly, Project Stadia has created a ready network of specialists around the world on shaping future efforts for securing major events. This network is a model example for the increasingly recognized role of Interpol in combating international crime. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, in the 21st century, Interpol strives to support its 192 member countries through not only its communication system, but indeed with a robust network of police forces, security agencies and experts across the globe. In effect, Collectively, our networks serve as an early warning system against global threats. Such can also be said of the distinguished audience here today. We have over 350 participants from more than 65 Interpol member countries and more than 60 organizations attending. The agenda present presents opportunities for some very important discussions. In closing, 
let me recognize the support provided by His Excellency, Mr. Prime Minister and Minister for Interior, and the Supreme Committee for Delivery and Legacy to Interpol Project Stadia. We are thankful for the initiative undertaken by Qatar and the partnership we have developed. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Interpol is grateful to you for taking out the time to participate in the first major event safety and security conference. I wish all of us a very successful two days here in Doha. Thank you. Shukran Jazilan.